with the school that I had to go to and I'm back working in the garage here. And when I came home, I had two boxes waiting for me and uh, these are probably the thing I'm most excited about with the, the new engine that I'm building, the LQ9 for the, the E36. Uh, these are a set of CNC ported 799 heads with uh, oversized valves. I got these from Driven Speed Performance. I'll put a link in the description. Um, but uh, yeah, these are probably the most baller set of heads I've ever owned. So let's get into them and take a look. Here we got them. So these are 799 castings. They are CNC ported. Looks super awesome. Like way better than the home port job I did. They also have oversized valves. There's the exhaust. They should flow very nice. Very, very nice set of heads. See, 799 casting. They have the DSP logo on the end here. It looks very baller. So I was going to get these installed, but, um, and I was going to use this exotic performance, uh, head stud kit these got have like really good reviews these are very capable fasteners uh right along the lines of arp stuff uh but i ordered the wrong ones so these are for the later blocks like my 5.3 these this stud kit will work on my 5.3 because that's a, a later block my lq9 six liter that block is an earlier block so it takes let me see these are the head bolts for it right here so it takes the longer uh what it is the threads where it engages inside the block is further down from the deck height so you need longer uh studs and these when you thread them in you only have like this much sticking out of the block so you can't use them but i will save these for a later um, build and I have the proper ARP head bolt kit is coming for the LQ9 so we can get these heads installed in there all right it's a couple days later and I'm back I got the ARP head stud kit the correct one for the LQ9 so we're gonna go ahead and uh, get the car out of the out of the garage here and uh, yeah, let's get this engine all the way together. Yeah.
so as you probably just saw, I was uh, bolting the new heads onto the LQ9 build, and I kind of balled out, and I got ARP head studs thinking I want the best hardware. In the kit, there are nuts. This nut has no threads. So now I'm at a sand still. So I got it all on except one nut. Uh, I'm gonna have to come up with a solution for this. Anyway, frustrated because I spent like top dollar on ARP hardware and I got nuts with no threads. Come on, why? I should have stuck to the eBay stuff. Anyway, I'm gonna get back to doing something. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna look at the eBay studs that I got. Maybe I can use a nut from that and put it as one of the outs, you know, put it. I'll put it here so I can always swap it if I get the right nuts from ARP. But yeah, look at that. No threads in there. Anyway, back to work. a little bit off camera because my cell phone was dying and yeah still recording with just my cell phone so let me know how it goes i got the crank pulley on i torqued down the heads i had one of my arp nuts didn't have threads in it uh so i have i got this stuff from michigan motorsports i bought a bunch of stuff from them in the past and they've always done right by me so i'm sure they'll send me out another kit or something but until then i swapped this one with a nut out of my uh ebay stud kit these were the wrong length so i had to get the arp ones so that's how i got in this debacle so i got the heads are bolted on i can swap that out later i got push rods installed and the trunnion upgraded rockers that were in the on the five three. This, this is what I was running before. So that's on there. Next, uh, breaking the clutch out of the box over here. Where's that? Right there. That box. Yeah, I got a monster clutch. So uh, I'll be getting that installed on the back of the engine, and then I'm going to install the engine on the transmission and have it on like rolling dollies, so I can scoot it around because we still have to bring the car in and there's some work that I'm going to do in the engine bay uh, beforehand. I want to route some of my cooling lines slightly differently to make it easier to work on. Um, and I also need to finish welding the frame rails because I cut those. I don't even know if I told you that, but I did. I cut the frame rails on the E36. Uh, what else? Oh, and I'm swapping to a brake booster from a Mercedes. This. Okay, right there. Uh, it's a slightly smaller diameter, so it should give me a little more room. It's right here. Basically, this was touching the brake booster on the E36. So maybe I can get a little bit more room. For now, that's going to be it, guys. Thanks for watching. I do appreciate everybody that's been subscribing and watching and all that stuff. Uh, it's definitely motivating me to get some more videos out. So until next time, I'll see you later. Before you go, I appreciate you sticking around to the end. So check. You know, your boy had to put the uh, had to put the intake mount for a little there. Yeah. This is gonna be. Uh,